Hello, welcome to the first installment of Your Inner Poet. I'm Miss Erica from the Youth Services part of Morrison Reeves Library. And for quite a few weeks, we'll have an opportunity to explore different aspects of poetry by writing poems ourselves. The first week, starting September 13th, is about metaphor. Now, you don't even have to know what metaphor is in order to write a metaphor poem. I have some specific suggestions on a paper that you can pick up uh, in the youth services area. And it suggests that you write a poem that's at least five lines long. It could be as long as you want, but at least five gives a good feeling for the metaphor poem. And each of the lines begins with the words, I am. But instead of saying the usual things that people think of about themselves, like I am a girl or I am a boy, or I am in school. Instead, you pretend that you are other things. And the suggestions are an animal, weather, a place to live, a source of light, a form of water, something to eat, and any other things you can think of. I'll give you an example that I wrote so you can get kind of a feeling for it. I am a cheetah, snarling as I sink my teeth into an antelope's leg. I am fog, drifting over the ocean, soft, salty, and gray. I am a yurt made of goat skins with hot red fire in the pot-bellied stove at my center. I am a flashlight with a dying battery flickering in a dark tunnel. I am a creek, chuckling as I glide around stones. I am a birthday cake with frosting slipping and candles sliding. I am illegal fireworks after midnight on a dusty country road. Something you might have noticed was that each of those lines had a lot of words in it. Instead of just saying, I am a cheetah, I described something about the cheetah. And the way you can do that is by picking an animal and then closing your eyes and making a picture of it in your head. Imagine it doing something. Is it climbing on something? Is it running? Is it lying still? And then if you're a place to live, closing your eyes, making a picture of it, thinking about what it looks like, sounds like, feels like if you touch it, maybe what it smells like, like the salty, gray, soft fog over the ocean. That way, your reader can make a picture in his or her mind when they read your poem. If you like writing a metaphor poem about yourself with each of the lines starting with I am, you could try writing a second metaphor poem about somebody else. You could pick a good friend of yours or a member of your family and say, you are at the beginning of every line. Like, you are a beautiful red rose blooming in a secret garden. Or you are a basketball bouncing off of the hoop. Sometimes if you write it about somebody else, it's a fun present to give them. They like reading a poem that you've written to see what you feel like and what they seem like to you. If in addition to sharing your poems with anybody in your family or any of your friends, if you'd like to have a wider audience be able to read your poem, if you get a permission slip signed by your parents, you can bring it in and give it to any of the librarians in the youth services area. They'll give it to me, Miss Erica, and I'll put it up on the bulletin board that's uh, near the entrance to youth services so other people can read it. And I can also type it and put it into a PowerPoint presentation on the television screen that's just in the youth services area. It won't go out on the internet. It won't be shared with anybody else, just with people who come into the library. I hope you enjoyed trying a metaphor poem 
and I look forward to reading what you write.